Yeah, Pedro and Mary Beth, this lawsuit was brought by the LA Alliance for Human Rights, which builds itself as a coalition uh, involving people ranging from business owners to some of the unhoused themselves. And while I'm getting mixed reaction today to this settlement, the plaintiffs and city officials here, they are celebrating it. Take a look at our streets. What the city and the county have been doing simply has not been working. City officials announcing a new legally binding commitment to provide shelter to more people living on the streets of L.A., announcing a settlement in a two-year-long major federal lawsuit that has challenged how the city and county have been dealing with the crisis. This fire that is raging across Los Angeles, it is time to extinguish it once and for all. The city agreeing to provide at least 14,000 beds, creating somewhere to live for 60% of those who are unsheltered at a cost of 2.4 to $3 billion over a five-year timeline. For the first time, we have agreed to legally commit ourselves to building a specific number of units for unhoused individuals on our sidewalks. The beds can be temporary interim housing. Current examples are cabin communities, bridge home shelters, and hotel rooms. Or the beds can be permanent housing, like apartments funded through the bond measure HHH. More permanent beds than temporary beds. Hear that loud and clear. Not part of the settlement? Creating shelter for those with a serious mental illness or who are chronically homeless with a substance use disorder. City officials say those issues are the county's responsibility. Now it's time for the county to do its part to address the crippling substance abuse and mental health crisis on our streets. Councilman Kevin DeLeon represents an area that includes Skid Row, which he calls ground zero for the crisis. Reaction to the settlement there from leader of the Union Rescue Mission, who's been working to help the unhoused for more than three decades. It will do a lot to address the problem on our streets, but if we add the qualifier of not mentally ill and not addicted, uh, we're going to rule a lot of people out. So, Lauren, the county's also being sued. Why didn't they settle? Yeah, they did not settle. And the county's attorney, in a statement writing in part, the lawsuit has no merit with regard to the county, writing, we intend to litigate and win this case. The county's more than doing its job and doing everything possible to address homelessness without stigmatizing it as a crime. Any assertion that the county has failed on this obligation is utterly baseless. Now, back out here live, city officials who spoke at that press conference today and the plaintiffs in this lawsuit, they disagree. Other reaction we're getting tonight includes the uh, LA Community Action Network, which in a statement wrote in part property owners and politicians are attempting to use this settlement uh, to use math equations and legal and political cover to enforce the city's anti-camping ban. We'll have new reaction for you at 6. For now, that's the latest live in downtown LA. I'll send it back to you in the studio.